Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to control your computer from your iPhone or iPod Touch and it doesn't have to be jailbroken. So what you want to do is open up the App Store and you want to search Mocha VNC Lite and click the first one. So there is a light and a paid version. The light version basically does the job. All you need to do is control your computer and stuff. And uh, it is three stars. It should be five stars. I don't know why. But just go ahead and install it completely free. And after you do that, get on your computer and go to the link in the description. This is for Windows only. So install the first one, free edition for Windows. Download the executable. Then I accept these terms and conditions. Check that and download. Then run and you can close out your internet browser so this is no virus virus free trust me or else I wouldn't be showing you this these guys are worldwide and a really big company really popular now so they wouldn't have any viruses in their products so run click next I accept next next and if you guys just want this for the Mocha VNC application then you can go ahead and uncheck VNC viewer because you won't need that but if you guys also want to know how to control your iPhone or iPod touch it does have to be jailbroken from your computer you guys can go ahead and install that so click next um, next and just leave it like that uncheck these next and install so after you're done with that go to your start menu all programs real VNC VNC server for user mode then click configure user mode settings if you guys want a password click password authentication and put in the password twice if you guys don't want a password select no authentication and OK then all programs go back to the folder VNC server 4 and run VNC server I already had one running so just close that okay so if you hover over it it will say your computer's IP address if it doesn't don't worry and you can go to command prompt so remember to write down your computer's IP address you will need it then type in IP config enter and go up to IPv4 address or IP address and it will say the address so now after that's done go to your iPhone or iPod touch open up your VNC application and it will show a big orange button in the middle menu and connect if you guys are first-time users you can go ahead and click this or you can go to menu and edit connections you can do this as well it will give you six blank slots so each one is for a different IP address or a different computer in this case so you want to put in your computer's IP address right here which I just showed you how to get then leave this alone default port 5900 then VNC password if you guys chose no authentication you can just put in a pound symbol which means none if you guys did put a password then go ahead and put that in there the rest is basically optional so you select what you want and after you're done you can go ahead and simply press connect it might not work the first time it should work the first time actually but if you guys uninstall it and don't use it for a couple of months like I did and then you install it again it might not work after that but if you guys keep on trying it will work so I'm just saying there it is it would be better if I was recording this with an actual camera because um, you know it's actually my iPhone there but my camera broke so I can't do that there you go you can double click you can type by pressing this keyboard icon I don't know how to right click I don't think you can but after you're done you want to go ahead and select a menu you can refresh disconnect so disconnect to exit out and then that's pretty much it
So please comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my other video, guys, and bye.